Good intentioned, young, naive, someone who hoped to make the world a better place. That's how lawyers for private first class Bradley Manning described him to a judge on the first day of his court martial. He's accused of harvesting classified materials and disseminating them via WikiLeaks. But we're portraying Manning as a young man who wanted to make a difference, make a difference to the judge. Legal experts say T. Manning's got a tough fight ahead. The most serious charge against him, aiding the enemy. That's defined in Article 104 of the Uniform Code of Military Justice as giving intelligence to the enemy either directly or indirectly, and it can be punishable by death. Prosecutors say they're only seeking life in prison, but this most serious of charges hinges on the government answering the question, did Manning actually intend to help the enemy? The 25-year-old has already admitted to 10 of the 22 charges against him, so the fact that he secretly funneled classified cables and video to WikiLeaks isn't in dispute. The military prosecutor, Army Captain Joe Morrow, says his side intends to prove that Manning knew he was putting information in the hands of the enemy. To prove that, they're calling to testify a Navy SEAL who took part in the 2011 raid that killed Osama bin Laden. He'll testify that they discovered in bin Laden's compound classified military secrets, Manning's leak to WikiLeaks being the source. What's Manning's defense? that he never intended to hurt fellow service members. Manning says he was motivated to illegally leak sensitive materials because he hoped to expose the American military's bloodlust and to spark a debate on the role of the military in foreign policy. Who's supporting Manning and why? Protesters gathered on Saturday outside Fort Meade, Maryland, where his court-martial is taking place. Their slogan, I am Bradley Manning. They say he's a whistleblower and a political prisoner. His supporters include filmmaker Michael Moore, actor John Cusack, and Daniel Ellsberg, who leaked the Pentagon Papers during the Vietnam War. Ellsberg's petition of support for Manning accuses U.S. officials of obstructing democracy and says the results of the leaks was overwhelmingly positive. Who will decide the case? Manning waived his right to a jury trial. His court-martial is being heard by a judge who is expected to issue a verdict later this summer. It's a case that comes down to a pretty basic question. Did Manning betray his country? That's the short answer.